I have a confession. Before I started doing this, I used to be a thief. You need to leave. Okay, let's talk about it. So this story happened when I was six. At this point, I was in first grade. I had this one friend who always gave me stuff for absolutely no reason. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there was 100% a reason why this kid gave me all this stuff. I used to threaten this motherfucker if he didn't give me any gum. I would be like, Oh, you're not gonna give me a piece of gum? Uh, we're not friends anymore. Yeah, <laughs> the wicked mind of a six-year-old. Classic. Are you sure about that? I think I did that so many times that he just started giving me stuff without me even asking, which was lit. Anyways, so while I was out shopping with my family at Post Office, I used to love going to that store when I was younger because they had these handicapped doors that would open with the press of a button. See, when I was six, that was the coolest shit I've ever seen. Even now, I'm a simple man. So while we were shopping, I got bored and drifted off away from my family. I wandered around for a bit until I found the table that had a bunch of rings on display. I started looking through them and I found one that I really liked. It was a blue flower ring. And I thought to myself, when I have a wife in the future, I'm gonna have to give this to her. So I snatched that and slipped it on my pocket. On the way out, I pressed the handicap button on the door like a boss. Let's be honest. Let's be honest though. I was a six year old with a ring. Something bad was bound to happen. So I take this ring home in my sweatshirt pocket. Later that night, I'm watching TV, and the ring just slips out of my pocket. You're on, you, you, it's like your brain, your brain doesn't work, you, you, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you. My mom sees this ring on the floor and she goes, where did you find that ring? Bro, I thought I was a genius with how I answered her after this. By this point, she already knew about my friend who, gave me stuff for free. My dumbass really said, oh yeah, no, it was just my friend from school, he gave it to me. And she believed me! I have no idea how she actually believed me. And then I go, oh yeah, you know, it was just an early Mother's Day gift, and she still believed me. Mom, come on, really? Then the, the next day, we got the newspaper and the sales flyer in the mail. Guess what store the sales flyer was for? Post office. Guess what she found in the sales flyer? The f blue flower ring that my friend gave to me that I gave to my mom as an early Mother's Day gift was right there on the very first page of the sales flyer. My dad called from my ass two floors away from me and I heard his ass like he was right next to me. My mom goes and asks me where I got the ring from again. And I was just like, <laughs> I told you where I got it. My friend gave it to me. And you lying. She goes, What the fuck is this? And just, you just have the ring. Just as soon as I saw it, I just sh bricks. I was like, Oh no, what the f And that concludes my how to guide of how to get your ass whooped. It's a good thing I got my ass beat back then. Because if I didn't, I might have still been a thief today instead of a YouTuber. Moral of the story? Yeah. Don't steal because karma is a bitch. Also, don't be shitty. I'm walking down a lonely road, only me, myself, and my homies. Yeah, we bought it so low, but I never stoop so low. It's a chase after you when you turn your back on me. I'ma keep it 100. I never needed you. Maybe that's just my apathy speaking. Maybe my ego is leaking. We drifted apart naturally. That's probably what you would say, but the fact of the matter is you switched up on me. If you really meant everything that you said, then how could you give up so easily? I worked my ass off to overcome what came between us. But you didn't have the decency to tell me you threw in the towel.